Today that we celebrate the feast of St. Mark the Tour, the Bishop of the Church, and of course we celebrate Veterans Day, remembering all of our veterans, living and deceased, and also those serving our country now around the world. And we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you all. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries this morning, let's begin by reflecting upon our life in Christ. Let's pray for the grace to grow in and to gather this Eucharist this morning. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts. Neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness towards everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of, our, of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia. Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, 
they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God with a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner come to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The ten lepers received a tremendous gift from Jesus. They were outcasts. They had to live outside the city and live these limits on the hills, living on the mercy and kindness of family and friends. They couldn't go near anyone. People were afraid of them. And here they come upon Jesus. They ask him to do something for us. And he cleanses them. Their lives are turned upside down. Now they can go home again, back to their families, the things they knew and loved. And one, Samaritan, not one of the family of the elect, realizing what God has done, goes back to Jesus and thanks him for this marvelous gift of this wonderful new life. The other night, they just took it for granted and went about their business. As we reflect upon that reading, we remember Jesus touched us and cleansed us in the waters of baptism and made us part of a very unique family, his own family of faith. We have a place in the family. Today's first reading from the letter of Paul to Titus, Paul says now, because we're in that family, he said, we act in a very special way. Not like the rest of the world who doesn't know Jesus. We act in compassion and understanding because we will be born in the words of baptism. <clears throat> we have Christ our Savior now to guide us and direct us in the ways of the, in the ways he wants us to live. He said that St. Martin of Tours, his feast we celebrate today. Martin was the Bishop of Tours in France, the patron saint of France, and he was a great peacemaker, went about bringing peace in villages and towns and in monasteries and in communities. As a matter of fact, as he was dying, they encouraged him to stay home. He was not well. No, I must go, he said, and bring peace to this community. And there he did die. He said, Lord, if you want me to stay, I'm ready. If you want me to go, I'm ready too. May your will be done. He gave us a great example of being peacemakers who make the world the place the Lord wants it to be. I think of our veterans today. They are certainly peacemakers. They go out and come out to defend our country and promote democracy, and hopefully justice and peace to many parts of the world. Think of what they've done for our country and the world over the years. Today we thank them for their service and ask God to watch over those who are living and to give a place of great peace and rest to those who have gone ahead. As we celebrate this feast and the holiday, let's thank God too for calling us, giving us work to do in his name. We follow the example of Martin and the veterans and those who have laid down their lives, do the same, building up Christ's kingdom in our own place and space today and every day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Today we bring our petitions and intentions here before the Lord, and we will receive them. And we pray today especially for the fifth anniversary of death of Sarah Ann Kenny, George M. Preston, Tony Carriotto, Bernard Williams, and again all of our veterans living and deceased, and our own intentions. We present these here in confidence and in faith. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
through the earth and work of human hands. Come for us with that flight. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, we have become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we join for sin in honor of Saint Martin, that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, by your ways, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Martin of Tours, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is she who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat up. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Mm -hmm. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim to your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to your hell and worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ we began to be one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we remember to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, O God. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, and the union of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
morning. A couple of items. Uh, Ms. Rose? Okay. Rose, first of all, I think that we should let the folks know that we have our own black box down here at Monte Cristi. It's hanging up there in case you haven't seen it. And that is that will allow us to live stream uh, starting this Saturday, Rose? Starting this Saturday. So the, that will disappear. And for all of our celebrations that we'll have, including funerals, we'll be able to live stream them to people that are not able to be here. Uh, and so they'll be, you'll be watching Mass at home at exactly at the same time as it is occurring right here at Monte Cristi, obviously with your, with your uh, parish family. So that's important. The second is that, as you know, we're now at five days a week for, uh, you know, for Mass, you know, for daily Mass. And it has, uh, we do have an increased need for uh, ministers to minister uh, with a celebrant, either Father John or Father Kyle. So um, I've asked Rose to, to assist me because my schedule has somewhat been turned upside down. So to help kind of coordinate that. Um, so if you can, after Mass, if you can just stay for just a few minutes and Rose and I will talk to you about the, the ministers that we need to make sure we have everything covered for our five daily Masses. So if you can, I know we'll make it very short and brief because we don't want to hold up the sanitizers, otherwise we'll be sanitized along with the other things here. So uh, if we can just hold for just a few minutes after Mass, we can perhaps get the other ministers coordinated. Thank you so much. restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with you, your will in all things. It's just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, we too may glory in being truly yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And enjoy the day and the holidays.